Hello again, everyone. I'm Halada Almu, and welcome to another episode of the DNA Download, where we explain the science of genetics so you can live in the know. Diversity is a buzzword that we often hear in the news. Did you know that diversity is also a term that applies to research? The question is, what does diversity in research mean and why is it so important? To help answer that question, I'm joined by Dr. Jennifer McCright, who is the research communication scientist at 23andMe. Thanks for being here, Jennifer. Thanks for having me. So, Jennifer, why is diversity important in research, and especially in genetics? Aren't all humans about 99.5% genetically identical? You're absolutely right, <laughs> but those small differences, the DNA variants, are part of what make everyone unique, and some of them may influence our risk for developing certain diseases. Hmm. But the problem is that, historically, most genetics research has been conducted in Europe and the United States, and the majority of research participants have been of European descent. Huh. And what that means is that, while we've learned a lot, those discoveries aren't always relevant to people of other areas ancestries. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but before strong ethical guidelines were in place, participants in disadvantaged communities were sometimes treated unethically, and now members of these communities can be hesitant to participate in research. Understandably. Right. So today it's important that scientists rebuild relationships with these communities and make sure their research is done ethically. Hmm. And at 23andMe, we believe that everyone has the potential to benefit from genetics research, and that means that we need to engage participants of all ethnicities. I totally agree. So at the end of the day, scientific findings that relate to one group of people don't necessarily apply to all groups. That's right, and this isn't just about race and ethnicity. These differences can apply to age, sex, and other factors. So what is 23andMe doing to promote diversity in genetics research? Uh, well, we've launched several initiatives that explore the genetics of Africans and African Americans. Huh. Uh, individuals in these projects have consented to participate in research to help study the genetic association with certain diseases. That is really great news! Are you trying to engage participants from other genetic backgrounds too? Yes, definitely. Oh. Uh, we're currently inviting researchers who are studying populations from all over the world to submit proposals to our Populations Collaborations Program, oh. which improves the diversity of our data. And we also recently launched our Global Genetics Project, which seeks to diversify our database by enrolling participants from underrepresented populations all around the world. That is so exciting! It is exciting. <laughs> I mean, we still have a lot of work to do, but we hope that these initiatives will help reveal new insights that help our customers from all backgrounds learn more about themselves and to advance medical research for everyone. Well, I hope so too, and good luck with the initiatives, and thank you for sharing, Jennifer. And we'll see you next time on the DNA Download.